In the charged atmosphere at this time around the role of Muslims in America comes what is billed as the first major exhibition in the United States on the Koran. Jeffrey Brown reports. Uh, this is one of the great highlights of the exhibition. It's a uh, Quran uh, from the early 14th century, from about 1330, signed by a great master. A holy book as a work of art. The Quran, sacred to some 1.6 billion Muslims around the world. A new exhibition at the Smithsonian Institution's Sackler Gallery in Washington, D.C., presents 68 of the most important and exquisite Qurans ever produced. Dating from the late 7th to early 17th centuries, they come from many parts of the Islamic world and are part of the collection of the Museum of Turkish and Islamic Arts in Istanbul. The Quran is a divine text, a series of revelations transmitted from the angel Gabriel to the prophet Muhammad between 610 and 632. It includes references to earlier figures including Abraham, Moses, and Jesus. Maria de Cake teaches Islamic religious thought and history at George Mason University. Is that it often takes a form of direct address. So it will say sometimes, oh you who believe. Uh, sometimes it'll address all human beings, oh humankind. It is a series of moral exhortations exhortations to virtue. It includes many stories of prophets before the time of Muhammad. It's an attempt to grab the listener or grab the reader, um, to wake them up, to make them think about their life, about the world around them. Maria Cake hopes it will shine a different kind of spotlight on Islam and the Quran. You will hear sometimes Islamophobic com comments about Islam and they'll say, well, you know, um, why would I want to know anything about this text? I see what kinds of things it produces, right? It produces people who behave in these violent ways or something like that. But when you come here, you see the larger reality of what it's produced, right? It produced beauty. Is to see the kind of artistic elements, the beauty that the Quran really brought. From the Sackler Gallery in Washington, D.C., I'm Jeffrey Brown for the PBS NewsHour.